let's start with muffins. How do you eat muffins? You see how big it is? So it's really impossible to put the whole thing in bite with this thing and that like it's very impossible, you know? So you ended up eating like that. So you ended up eating all this part and then you eat the muffin without the good stuff. I'm gonna show you how to eat the muffin the right way. Here's the best way of eating the muffin. You take it off from the paper, grab your knife and cut it in half and make a sandwich. And now you can squish it, now it's gonna fit into your mouth and you got big cookie with a lot of this stuff and you're not gonna end up eating the best part out and ended up just with the muffin. So now you have a muffin sandwich. Tic Tac. How do you usually take out Tic Tac? You open it and throw it on your hand. Oops, too many. You just want one or two. Here's how you do it. This part is actually made for one serve. You put it over and boom. Two. You put it over and boom. You got one Tic Tac. I usually take two at the time because they're so small but as you can see this is actually works every single time one or two per self boom boom how to correct way take out soda cans out of the bottle in the refrigerator, you know what I mean? Let's check it out. Okay, the easiest way to do it is see they're standing down like that and then we're gonna open it. You see they're standing down like that. So now we're gonna move them over like that all the way down to the place. Open it on that side. And now simple, stick your hand in there and push it and pull the paper. And boom, you took them out very easily. <laughs> Today I'm gonna teach you how to peel pomegranate, how to eat pomegranate, how do you pronounce it? Pomegranate? Pomegranate, the right way. Just like that. And then what's, what I wanna do is grab with a spoon or handle and just stop it on this side. Just, and guess what? You wanna, come yeah, you wanna grab a bowl though, not this kind of plate, and seeds all come out in a plate. We don't have a bowl over here because these guys are single and they <laughs> don't have a good, all they have is like little, little plastic bowl. So cut it in half and knock it, knock them out like that. Look, look at this, look how simple it is. Except if you had a bowl, they wouldn't fly out. So try it yourself, cut okay, it. Okay, so like this? Just cut it in half. And of course, if they had spoons, that would be even better. What, to tap them with the spoon? Yeah, but look, all of them have been out. Look, after tapping a little bit, all of them, have, like, all of them have been gone. Well, a little bit have stuck. Same thing on this side. Yeah. Totally and, worked. Yeah, and if you have a little bit of like skin, you can just take it out and simply have look all of them without any like. Take it easy, boy. Mmm. <laughs> Check this out. Instead of picking it out with this stuff, you can now just eat really easily. So how do we use it? We usually open it. Take this bag out, take it out, and sometimes the whole thing falls out, and it's so annoying, right? But the reason it falls out, because you're doing it wrong. There is actually here on the side, a flap that's supposed to be pushed in this way. One on this side, and on this side. So next time, whenever you grab some and pull it, it does not fall out. Same one here. You take out and the whole thing fall out. So annoying, you know? So you will see press here to lock roll. So it's not gonna fall out no more. And if you have not been using this part, you have to thumbs up this video. 
So now look at the difference. Pins pushed in, and now I'm gonna open it and take out some. And look, it doesn't fall out at all. And I can cut out perfect slices. Take out some. Check this out. Again. Take out as much as I need to. Nothing falls out. And just cut perfect slice. And if you like this kind of meat and make sandwiches all the time from it, you know, there is a big probability that most people putting their meat on their sandwich their own way. So let's check out how the right way to do it. I usually like two pieces on my sandwich, but guess what? The problem is I hate that it does not cover the whole bread. How do we fix it? We grab a knife and cut it in half. You see, just like that. Take it off and put it like this and like that and like this and like that. And check it out. The whole bread covered with meat. And then put all your toppings like tomatoes, lettuce, and of course honey mustard. Cannot go wrong with that. And just put the bread on top and boom! Check it out, meat hanging out out of your sandwich instead of having like a spots a breads of without meat. Last time I showed you how to put meat so it covers the whole bread. And today I'm gonna show you how to cook an egg so it's perfect for your sandwich. So what I did is cut an onion and split it like that and put it down here, that's all. And then I'm gonna grab an egg, break it and put it inside of our onion egg. And look, it's going to perfectly stay there. One. Two. You see how it's staying there? After the egg almost cooked, just grab it and flip it. And look at this. We have perfect egg for the sandwich. If you don't like the onion, you can just take it off really easily and just put your meat. And this is how you cook perfect egg slice for your sandwich. You see, it's pretty good. And all you need is a small piece of onion ring. You can eat it as well, but this is makes a perfect size for your sandwich. Look, if you slice it, it's still running. Perfect, isn't it? That's how I love it. You know, last time I showed you how to cut meat and then how to cook eggs. Perfect egg for the sandwich. And today I'm gonna show you how to cook bacon the right way for your sandwich. I got this thing wrapped in aluminum foil and you know how you cook bacon usually? So you cook bacon like that and then put one slices on your sandwich. Well, that's the wrong way. What you wanna do is grab one Put one like that, one over. Boom, close it like that. Then second one, flip over these two, put it right here. Then close them up, then flip over this one and put this one in and close it. You can even squeeze in this one as well. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. You don't have to preheat the oven. Just put it in there for 12-15 minutes and just check on it and see for your desire crisped. After about 10-15 minutes baking your bacon in the oven, look at that. You have perfect slice of bacon for your sandwich. How amazing is that? Check it out. Boom. Mm. Crispy. Show you how to peel a banana the right way. Human peel a banana from this side, you know, it's kind of sucks, right? Well, I'll show you a very, very simple way to do it. Let's check it out. Okay, you got a banana, right? Most people will go from here and might be fail, you know, it's like hard to peel it. But this is very simple. You just grab it right here and squeeze it. And then you go like that. 
like that and like that and you got the right way to peel a banana you know what I mean that's what monkeys do for ages now that's how you peel a banana the last one is Oreos how do you eat Oreos you soak it in the milk you bite it and then the other half you soak it you bite it but now how are you gonna soak the rest of the cookie inside of a milk sucks you grab a fork and stab it between the Oreos and soak it in all the way in as much as you want and take it out and eat it all the way very simple just stab it in between of the cookies and soak it in all the way and it's ready to eat for you very simple your hands are clean for milk and you don't have to be worried about dropping your cookie inside of a milk alright guys that's pretty much it let me know what do you think comments below thumbs up this video check out my facebook instagram and twitter and i'll see you next time